So, again, this is my most favorite of the prequel trilogy. <laughs> it's the one I tolerate the, the easiest. I mean, when I was re-watching the whole series before Episode Seven came out, before The Force Awakens came out... Oh, you poor man. I, I was really I was really excited, and then I finished episode one, and I'm like, I got a whole other movie almost as bad as that. Mm-hmm. And then I got to episode three, and I was like, oh, thank God, I made it over the hump. And then there were some still minor humps in yeah, three that I had to stomach. It's rough. And then you get to A New Hope, and you're just like, all then right. Empire, and then it ends on Jedi, and you're like, oh, okay, I'm all caught up. Look, you should have done machete order. Four, five, two, three, six. Four, five, two, three. Yeah, so you get the big reveal at the end of five that Darth Vader is Anakin Skywalker. You see two and three, so you get ah. flashback. Uh, one doesn't actually matter at all. No. no. Um, okay, I could see that. Working. Yeah, and then uh, you finish up. The whole finish thing. up with six. It's beautiful. It's kind of like the uh, published order of Chronicles of Narnia, where you get to go back in Magician's Nephew. And it's like, oh, so that's where the wardrobe came from. And yep. Everything. Yep. Yeah. Um, All right, so but yeah, machete order is pretty cool. Everything wrong with Star Wars Episode Three: Revenge of the Sith Part Two. Uh, <laughs> oh Lord, we have to go through another one of these. Yeah, and this oh. is the second half of the film, which a lot of people consider like the high point of the film, like with uh, like you know with the giant the you know the giant battle between Anakin and Obi Wan, and you know. The end of the whole, the the end oh, of the yeah. Republic and the Galactic Empire. You yeah. know, all the pieces being set, and then, you know, there's still a few humps of bad writing in terms of. Uh, okay, people said Natalie Portman was horrible in this. No, her dialogue was her dialogue was horrible. Yeah, she and she did Lewis, what she could. She did her best. I mean, she's an Oscar winner for God's sakes, a good Oscar winner. She won for Black Swan, and she was terrific in that. Yeah, that like, was a weird movie. It, it was. Yeah, it was a uh, weird movie. Yeah. Cool. Um. What, let, let's just get into it. Let's, let's just go. do it. Let's go. You can return to This is all we see of Yoda during this entire section of the movie. He just feels something is wrong. He doesn't do anything that ever makes us appreciate the character from Empire Strikes Back. The guy who told us do not try is the least doing character in this entire trilogy. <laughs> I want Ooh. you to go to the Jedi Temple. We will catch them off balance. Somehow, they'll not feel all this evil bullshit going on right now and won't detect you when you come to slaughter all the kids. Execute no, younglings, order 66. Younglings. Not the younglings. Stupid Commander Cody ones. doesn't stop Stupid for even one second to ask why the Emperor looks more like a potato than he does the Emperor. Also, yeah. if you remember, Cody, 66 is the order the Senate defines as wiping out the Jedi like little bitches. What planet is this? What Jedi is this? You don't care. I don't care. I don't even think Lucas cares, as long as it looks pretty. Tim Burton designed this might alien be planet, Coon, but asked to be uncredited after he saw a rough first cut. Oh. oh, no, oh. not that Jedi. I grew to love her so much. Oh, f you. I can't believe these movies actually made me hate Yoda so much. There are CG animators out there who got tired of all the ways they had to draw Yoda feeling bad about something. Dumbass Jedi does not eject. Look, I know we're going for a killing the Jedi montage here, but you are the ones who set them up to be superhero gods. So when you go to slaughter them, maybe make some of them a fraction better than regular humans in these situations, eh? Jesus, this movie does more to tear down the lore of how powerful Jedi are than it does anything else. CG yeah, yeah. is fun, Wee! They took forever to kill him, and now I'm supposed to have a boner because Yoda killed two guys. As long as you throw the Emperor down a shaft later, all these kids' deaths will be forgiven. Very mm. tragic misuse of Natalie Portman. Wait, a second ago yeah. they were letting this asshole yeah. leave. Then some Jedi Tommy Tomasino jumps in and starts killing <laughs> troopers, and then they're trying to kill this guy? The fuck? If I had told you at the outset that two of the three prequel movies would contain scenes of Obi-Wan swimming underwater, would you believe me? Because I don't think you would have. Goodbye, Chewbacca. Oh, oh so oh. that really was Chewbacca. Yeah. How did this guy get caught up with Han Solo then? Goes from a war hero on this planet to helping some asshole smuggle stuff across the galaxy. That's some coming home right there. Did you find Kenobi? That better Sir, be the Han no Solo movie. That fall. It's all In real say. life, almost everyone thinks there's at least a small <clears throat> chance someone could survive a fall like that. In the movies, all the bad guys are 100% sure no one can survive a fall like that. I heard there was an attack on the Jedi Temple. You can see the smoke from here. Um, yeah, that Jedi Temple getting attacked scene was intense. I heard a lot of harrowing dialogue about it. I feel uh, so helpless. You no, mispronounced all. pointless. This lava oh. monster is so close to its giant ass planet, Most I'm surprised far. it hasn't burned up in the atmosphere yep. yet. Who the f said, yeah, definitely need to build an outpost on this moon? I know there's something wrong with the scene because none of these younglings' hands are detached. Oh. Anakin kills the 33 people necessary in order to attain orange eyes. So this is how Liberty dies. With thunderous, with thunderous applause. applause. <laughs> Sorry, something really stupid stuck in my throat there. Carry on. 
for the clones. To discover the recalibration, a long time it will take. Roughly as long as it took you to say that sentence, so yes. It can't be. Another failure here. So much of the reason why Obi-Wan can't believe Anakin did this is because of all the adventures they've had off-screen together that they've merely alluded to a couple of times. Meanwhile, all we've seen of Anakin is a whiny, quick-to-anger little bastard. The emotion of this scene is lost. It was really forced, yeah. Yeah. Good of the Emperor to say this in perfect view of the security recordings. Use your feelings, Obi-Wan, and find him you will. Since when do a Jedi's feelings work in these movies? Yeah, for Why doesn't Obi-Wan yeah. just play the incriminating security video of Anakin killing children for her? Anakin yeah. is the father, isn't he? Ask that again. I was distracted by all the bullshit in the background. Yeah. No. Anakin is the father, isn't he? No. You seriously didn't, didn't know that already? God damn, can Jedi sent or fing not? Obi-Wan leaves <laughs> Padme, walks toward his ship, and the next time we see them, they're about to fly to the lava planet. At no point do we see Padme making a tough decision to say, f it, Anakin is evil. Let's kill him. I don't care if I'm carrying twins, that guy is dead. Also, I guess Obi-Wan didn't search his feelings about Anakin's whereabouts. He just happened to know someone who knew the information he needed. Obi-Wan brings Padme to the lava planet for his kill of Anakin, because what could possibly go wrong? Anakin, you're breaking my heart. Uh, uh, it's so the because the badass character Padme we saw in Phantom Menace going around leading an assault on the uh, Viceroy has become a lump of so melodramatic bad. mush? Let her go. Duh, okay. If you're not with me, then you're my enemy. Discount what Jesus said. This is what it's all uh, been really doing. Uh, Obi-Wan fighting Anakin. And it's really kind of the letdowniest of all letdowns. <laughs> Man, if only we could have had some of this Yoda two movies ago. Hell, under this trilogy's structure, it practically demanded Yoda be terrible at Yodaing until way later. Yoda takes this lightning Yoda blast as if he wasn't expecting the Emperor to be evil or something. Oh. At last, the Jedi are no more. Not if anything to say about it. I have. Good job, movie. You made me want Frank Oz to shut up somehow. Oh. Anakin's robotic arm oh. somehow isn't strong enough to just crush Obi-Wan's throat. Not much but dual lightsaber duels going on right now. But I wonder, the Emperor had a tough time with Mace Windu during their duel. So how does he keep up with Yoda, who is flipping all around as super fast and is mostly considered to be the best Jedi up until recently? Seriously, yeah. how does he not see this until the last second? How did he not see Yoda stop it midair and start spinning it and then throwing it towards him? Yoda can catch the Sith lightning in his hands, proving his badassery. But eventually he falls, and another fall takes him out of the action. You assume temporarily. But the movie cuts back to the Anakin Obi-Wan fight and basically makes you forget that Yoda has options to get back in the fight. For example, elevators, stairs, the Force. Instead, the next time we see Yoda, he's crawling through a wiring duct as if he's totally defeated. Why would the battle ever come to say, this? I'd rather and, take my chances even if I was going to jump down on a yeah. wouldn't Yoda be able to find his lightsaber down there? It's completely unbelievable. Yeah. Get back a lightsaber there. duel could go on this long give up. any lost limbs or ears <laughs> or heads. Yeah. Apparently not being nearly epic enough, the Obi-Wan Anakin fight now has to feature them falling on a large metal thing that we have no idea what its purpose is other than to make lightsaber fights more dramatic. Because Lucas only has so many ideas, here's a hero after a near defeat falling from the bottom of a hovering space building into an awaiting rescue ship driven by the handsome minority side character, in case you haven't seen Empire Strikes Back. It just so happens to be Leia's adopted father. Mm -hmm. I must go. Failed, I have. I know we need a reason why Yoda goes to Dagobah, but he very much gave up the fight with the Emperor too soon. All the cool stuff Yoda did in the past 10 minutes, forget about it. Yep. How fortunate is it that this tower stays upright while floating down a river of lava, it's being consumed- Oh, f*** it. My lack of interest should be beyond obvious by now. Just tell me when it's over. This is supposed to be epic, but it feels like a guy who just learned After Effects creating his own fan fiction and sharing it on YouTube, which was founded the very year this movie came out. Coincidence? Well, Wait, it's aren't true. Aren't powering their pieces of metal junk was to fly it over this lava pit? Yeah, three like in the morning? Yeah, three in the morning was the one I saw. could have a lot more use over time. Basically, this means you can fly, as long as you have a thing underneath you. It's over, Anakin! I have, I have the high, high ground. ground! Yep, movie about superhero Jedi freaks that can leap small buildings will now somehow be decided by a couple of feet above sea level, because Sun Tzu! Sun Tzu. Yeah. I have the high ground! So did Darth Maul, and you saw how that turned out. Mm. Also, even if high ground mattered, why would Anakin need to give up in this instance? Can he simply drive back to where all this started, or find another spot to dismount? It was said that you would destroy the Sith, not join them! You're still on about that. Stupid you Leo takes pity on his former student and walks away before that confirming the his death. that I Terminator always have Genesis. on, on hand that uh, runs out of ink. Are there really yeah. no human doctors left in this world? Everyone here gets treated by a Big Hero 6 dressed in Johnny Five clothing. For reasons <laughs> we can't explain, we are losing her. It's called the She Wasn't in the Original Trilogy Disease. Oh. oh. <laughs> Padme names her kids as they exit her womb, which is simply unnatural. It's like Lucas said, no one will know who these kids are. Better have Padme name them as soon as they pop out. Ah, I see Padme went to the Close Your Eyes and Tilt Your Head School of Movie Deaths. It seems in your anger, you killed her. Darth Vader believes this. Also, wow, lying liars and the lies they tell. 
Isn't he already Darth Vader? Does he really still need manipulating? No! no. Yeah. Yes? I mean, no. No! <laughs> we must take them somewhere where the Sith will not sense their presence. We'll take Luke to somewhere like, I don't know, Anakin's old home planet. Why the hell not? And what of the boy? To Tatooine. Do his family send him? It's almost like they forgot the guideline they set just 20 seconds earlier. I will take the child and watch over him. Kinda. Also, he and I will keep our same last names because f that pseudonym bullshit. Qui-Gon? How to commune with him? I will teach you. I'll also teach you about forgetting him, too. Uh. Have the protocol droid's mind wiped. But not the Captain R2 Antilles. unit. He'll go on with all his memories yep. but forget he knew any of these people. Yeah, this saga would have felt incomplete without the Padme funeral. Good call. Jar Jar is extra sad about his own part in the fall of the prequels. I mean, Empire. Man, they buried her with extra hair, right? Did she have that shit wigged out in a closet somewhere already? That is a ton of hair, is all I'm saying. Discount long distance, not actually Peter Cushing. Movie thinks construction <laughs> footage of a doomed thing will make for an exciting ending. And movie is wrong for the 147th time. Isn't Vader still badly burned? Time. Did they ever give him anything for that? That's gonna get infected. Touching yeah. Alderaan baby delivering scene is undercut by the future knowledge that all these are people on this planet gonna die. Here, have a baby. Also, Jedi storks. Also, mm -hmm. Owen and Baru age like 40 years while Luke ages 20 the next time we see them. Movie prequel trilogy thinks it's tied off all the loose ends despite ending roughly 20 years from the start of the original trilogy. What about Luke's puberty? What about Leia's struggle with why her parents' castle has a ballroom but never has any balls? Also, are we supposed to believe oh. that Luke got his double sun gazing habit from his aunt and uncle while he was two weeks old? Such poetry. <laughs> Uh. Uh. Wait. Uh oh. Oh, oh no. no! Here oh, we... This is going to be easy. Flying is for droids. Oh dear. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. Da, da, All da, 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 are our speciality. Did I miss something? How did this happen? We're smarter than this. <laughs> Do you have a plan B? And try not to upset him. Not to worry. We are still flying half a ship. Another happy landing. Hello there. So uncivilized. I have the high ground! <laughs> yep. There you go. Oh, man. Man. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Hologram. Yes. Oh no. no. <laughs> wow. Oh wow. The sink counter's off out of control. Oh, times three. Come on. That's twenty-five Come plus on, thirty. Come on, man. That's thirty-five plus forty. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. What? No. It's off the charts. Wow. For quitting. quitting. Yeah, for real. Yeah. Oh, wow. We can't. We can't. All right. Gotta wait for. Yep, somebody's gonna freak out. Yep. Come on. Come on, do the thing. Come on. You can do it. Is he not to destroy the Sith and bring balance to the Force? What's in your wallet? Get on my way. <laughs> I'm gonna be doing this. If you get hit, it's your own fault. March to hell. <laughs> yeah. 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 Alive. <laughs> 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 Skyfall. Yep. Beautiful. All I want is your love. All you need is love. No. No. My name is Inigo Montoya. <laughs> you kill my father. Yes. Be prepared to die. Gentlemen, we can rebuild him. <laughs> we have the, the technology. technology. There's a man out strong. there. What do they call him during the war? You know, the, the pilots? Gremlins. <laughs> <laughs> yep. It's running a little hot. Hold <laughs> me. Like you did by the lake on Naboo. Let's do what we did in Mexico City. This is Papa Dragon. I want this mission high and tight. I want to be home for dinner. I want to be home for dinner. Avatar. But the war is over. The war is over, sir. The war is over. They taste like burning. I will deal with this Jedi slime myself. You fool. Deliver the device to me, or I will destroy your ship. Galaxy Quest. Yup. Uh, wow, okay. Man. Okay, so... Well, there you go. That's that's a thing. It, it is, in fact, over 9,000. 
Way over nine. Heck, it was over four hundred thousand. Jeez. Okay. It, it was always hard for me to take Yoda in these, being like the leader of this council that's like embedded in the government, because he was this whimsical little dude on Dagobah when you first yeah. meet him, and yep. it's like. I, I never got that he would be so entrenched in a political body like that. He was just like this weird little gribbling dude out in the swamp that, you know, he didn't yeah. really, I mean, like all the answers he was giving him didn't make sense. And I mean, you know, all the stuff he I told him, I was. <laughs> you know, like how size matters not, you know, do or do not. There is no try. Yeah. You know, you know, great. You know, great. <laughs> only use the force for defense, never for attack. Like, I mean, yeah. Um, and it's like the Jedi's were kind of jerk because they were basically kind of like a, a government hit squad almost. Like I mean, they were, they they were there to quell rebellions and all that. And it's just like, well, if the people are unhappy, and it's like there's that really bogus line where it's like, "We're keepers of the peace, not soldiers." And they totally send them into a battle, and they all drop up out of ships and like start soldiering around, chopping up droids and stuff. Totally not soldiers, you guys. <laughs> totally, <laughs> it's. Fine. Totally not soldiers. It's Just get a PR fine. blast. Everything is Peacekeepers. Yeah, there you go. Peace. Keepers of the galaxy. Police action. Yeah. Jeez. I uh, don't know. That always just didn't sit right with me. Yeah, which is, and, and you see, in political landscapes like that, the Jedi, to me, really doesn't fit. Right. And... It, to me, they're well, like they should be like a separate organization that does their like, own thing. Like this is why I think they missed out on a really great opportunity because I think that's why the Jedi Council was destroyed. I think it's like a yin and yang type thing. And so when one side of the Force, the light, outweighs gets, the gets dark, gets too uppity, the dark, <laughs> the dark uppity, side, right. the dark side is actually enabled to overtake them. That's why they couldn't sense any of this stuff. And that's why with basically one, sometimes two Sith, they could destroy all this because there was actually. It was out of balance because of the Jedi. It's the, uh, what is it, the inverse ninja law? Right. If you have one ninja, they're unstoppable. But if you have, but the more ninjas you have, the more easily you can take them all out. Well, uh, it's um, just like uh, the uh, samurai, the samurai in the, yeah. in, the ancient, in, in Japan, feudal Japan. Um, whenever the, you know, whenever uh, <laughs> uh, his... Like we were watching the history of Japan, whenever the heavenly super person, aka emperor, yeah, uh, you know, he overthrew the shogunate, and the shogunate overthrew him back, and then the people underneath the shogunate wanted to uh, wanted power for themselves, and when he died, they all fought for power, and it, and it's just like you cause division amongst the ranks, and thus it falls apart. I mean, mine's what, just an action movie trope. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. No, like action movies. One lone ninja, completely unstoppable. Twelve ninjas, cannon fodder. Some of them are getting taken out. Well, of Most of them are going to well, get taken it's out. It's like dirty. The dirty. It's like a dirty dozen rule. Because I mean, how many of the dirty dozen survived? Yeah, that's yeah. it. Well, there would have been four, but then Franco just like right at the end. Yep. We made it. You never never say, say that. you we never made say it. that unless you're John Claude Van Damme. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Jeez, but. Uh. You see, the Jedi, you see, this is why I keep saying they need to come back to these after enough time has gone by and redo and, them. And maybe give us some of these side stories that they kept mentioning, because I want to know about I, those. I was going to say, why not, do, why, not do, why not do like the Rogue One treatment? You know, have, have one-off movies that tell, that tell stories on That'd one side. That'd be awesome. Yeah, extend it, like, yo, know, create your own extended universe. Like with like with what you're doing with Rogue One yeah. and the Han Solo and the Han Solo movie and then the potential Boba Fett movie as well. Oh, I mean the oh man Boba Fett movie. That's how, yeah. Like, Cat, I yeah. want it. For, I for, want it. Hey, for everyone wanting uh, wanting Caleb to wanting Caleb to play Boba Fett, uh, go down below in the email. Uh, Caleb for Boba Fett. Yeah, no, but seriously, just Caleb joking. For Boba, that'd be awesome. Caleb for Boba Fett because he because uh, I was gonna say he has the complexion. Yes, and he's silent and stoic and he's kind of a badass. Yeah, and and. Yeah, I wouldn't want to run into him in a dark alley. Doesn't he's been he's been training for this for years. Yes, he has. He's he, he really he's has. Like we don't really ever talk about it, but I have sealed him up in a trash can and buried him in the backyard, and he's escaped. Like <laughs> it was intentional. Impressive. I wasn't trying to kill him. Like, <clears throat> Caleb asked you to. He wanted to. Know, he wants to test his yeah. boundaries. I mean, honestly, it that's how a lot of people should do. You see, here's the thing. What you're saying is completely believable. It is. Knowing you two for as long I mean, as I been. have, completely <laughs> believable. Grappling hooks, guns. It's They're just, real. They're all real. Like, 
if he could get a jetpack, if oh only. man, oh boy, heaven help you. Uh, I was going to say we maybe we should take him to do those water jetpacks like they did for like Rooster Teeth did for immersion. We'll all die. No, no, we will, I, I was no, say, no, no. We need to if do we, like an exercise to see how good he is with no, it. No, see, here's the thing: if we give him the jetpack, that's the final piece. He snaps and kills us all. <laughs> Why not? Well, it, it can only be do, done on the water. I don't we'll care. He'll find a way. Lake. We'll just have to stay away from the lake. He will find a way. Uh, <laughs> Caleb finds a way. Uh, but guys, uh, what did you all think of uh, think of this? I mean, we love Cinema Sins. I mean, yep. I love Cinema Sins to death. Anything they do, I am in massive support of. And hey, they like us as you know, from what they've yeah. said on some of our videos. I mean, they they like us. And hey. That's that's all. That's, that's something cool as can be. But guys, uh, thank you all for tuning into this. Uh, check out the original videos down in the description. Uh, the original video down in the description below. Also, do not forget to check out Cinema Sins. Uh, give them some love. Show them lo all the love that you can. And uh, hey, if there's more stuff you want to see from us, uh, we have uh, other stuff down in the description below. Also, yeah. if you, there's something else you want us to watch, uh, leave a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys, and we will see you later. Peace out.